I met them in a swamp down in Dagobah Where it bubbles all the time like a giant carbonated soda S-O-D-A soda I saw the little rent sitting there on Howdy ho! My name is Johan and welcome to the Wisconsin Rifleman video podcast and the Wisconsin Rifleman project. I of course am the Wisconsin Rifleman born and raised in, God, in God's country that's uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin for all you fibs out there and I hope that this podcast can do some good for us as we head into the zombie apocalypse here in a few years maybe thinking Anyways, uh, I'm hoping this podcast can be a good place for me to review some guns, talk Wisconsin, and bitch about the Nothing Fancy Project. So if any of those interest you, please hit the subscribe button. And today we've got a good show for you. Looking forward to talking. Anywho. On today's show, we're going to talk about my recent, my recent purchase. I uh, didn't really plan on making this purchase, just kind of happened. As you can see here, I got the Ruger Gunsight Scout Rifle. Now, I was doing my regular Saturday perusal of all the gun shops, and I don't want to buy a new gun. I have plenty of guns, but I was uh, at Shields, and... They didn't have nothing because the whole Obama thing makes it so nobody has any guns. And I just decided I'd go down into Iowa City and see if Finn and Feather had anything. Because I don't live in Wisconsin anymore. I'll be moving back soon though. And I went to Finn and Feather and they have one of these. Now I've kind of been wanting a 308 rifle here for a while. So naturally I grabbed it and... Put the $900 on the table and said, yo, take my money. So a little about the gun sight scout, if you've never heard of it before. It's a 308 bolt action. Uh, magazine fed. Comes with a steel 10 round magazine. Uh, it has a Picatinny rail up front for mounting any optic, uh, for mounting optic on it. But you can also mount, rear mount the optics on it too, if you want. It has a nice laminate wood stock. And a 16 inch barrel. The barrel is threaded so you can take off the splash suppressor and add a noise suppressor or a silencer for you non gun folk. And that's kind of what I plan on doing in the future. I'm planning on putting you know, a fixed powered loophole 2.5 power scope up front for extended eye relief so I don't have to have my old eye up there so I get plinked in the scoped in the eye all the time when I'm shooting. So, good rifle. I took it out shooting the yesterday. I shot about 40 rounds through it. So there's a little sore from it, but overall I enjoyed it. Uh, pretty darn accurate. Uh, I'm not the most accurate shot in the world, but you know I could definitely kill a man at 100 yards with it. Uh, what else? What else? Good gun, good gun. I'm looking forward to having a lot of, slaying a lot of deer with it. But, yeah, yeah. See, I, uh, a couple of years ago, one of the first guns I ever bought when I got back into guns was a Savage Edge 308. So those that know anything about guns, Savage Edge eventually became the Savage Axis. Uh, they just switched the name on it because I guess Axis sounds a lot cooler than Edge. So whatever's clever. I bought one of those, you know, in the scope packages where the scope comes on it, you know, cheap, you know, Bushnell scope or something. And one of my problems with that, you know, good gun, but you can tell, cheaply made, you know, uh, there's a little clip that kept the four or five round magazine in it, I guess. But it was really, really light, probably like five pounds or something. And shooting it was a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass, because I always the scope would always hit me and my my orbit. And you know, it just kicked a lot. And that's, you know, not gonna fault you if you like the gun, because it's a nice light gun, and if you're only shooting it, you know, a couple times a year to kill your deer, fine rifle, 
a little too light for me. This is about seven pounds unloaded, uh, and it doesn't have as much kick as that. You know, fairly reasonable. Definitely could shoot, you know, 40 rounds out of it yesterday without complaining or anything like that. So that's a plus for me, but it's also a pretty light rifle. But, you know, gun weight for me is not that big of a deal. When I was in the Wisconsin Army National Guard, I carried a frickin' saw. And that thing, I can't remember how much it weighed, but kind of immunized me against carrying heavier rifles, but still pretty light. Uh, Jeff Cooper, when he made his, you know, scout rifle concept, which this is based on, the Gun Sight Training Center, he wanted uh, it to be 2 to two, 2.5 kilograms. And I think this is closer on the 2.5 side, or it's probably a little over. Uh, but the main thing he wanted the scout rifle for was to do every job that you could do with a rifle decently. So this gun right here isn't going to be your best sniper rifle, and it's not going to be your best deer rifle, it's not going to be your best any rifle, but if you need one rifle, this will be a good one to have. Uh, so you wanted it with a good caliber, so this is 308. 308 is a great caliber. I'll be able to slay many deer with it, maybe even a Sasquatch, who owns? Wink, wink. Um, yeah, yeah, 308, good caliber. Uh, you want it to be short, so you want it to be under a meter. I think this is under a meter. It has a 16 inch barrel on it, uh, if you don't count the flash suppressor up there. Uh, he wanted you to have a forward mounted optic. So the forward mounted optic serves a couple purposes and low magnification too. Uh, it makes so when you acquire your target, you still have a lot of peripheral vision. So you can still see the landscape around your target to ease and tar target acquisition. Now if you have a scope mounted back here, you know, a high powered, you know, 10 power scope or something and you're zeroing in, you don't have that wide an angle of view, so you can't see much there. So that is kind of the scope rifle project uh, concept, I mean. And Steyer made a scout rifle, Savage made a scout rifle, and this is Ruger's. I am just happier than a pig and shit with it. Happy, but you know, if you're you know the type of guy that you need to get one MOA or lower, this is not your your rifle. I think you can get it if you put really high quality precision ammunition in it. But if you're like me, getting the cheap old federal stuff or whatever is cheapest at the store. You know, you'll be getting two MOA at best, maybe even a little less. Definitely less for me, uh, just because the old Scouts Rifleman is not as much of a Rifleman as I claim to be on the internet. Um, action. Very smooth going. I like it. It's, you know, miles are action. You have to pull up, out, back in. It works best if you make it distinct movements. So distinct movement up. Moving back, moving forward, moving down. And the safety, and a three part safety to it. Right now it's not on safe, so I can fire it out. Just blew my roof out. You can put it on kind of halfway safe. This way you can cycle the bolt, uh, but you can't fire it. And then you can put it on all the way safe, which, you know, you can't even cycle the bolt with it. So, uh, some Ruger just came out with some polymer polymer mags for that, but you know in this crazy environment, probably not going to be able to get any polymer mags for it anytime soon. So I'll just have to deal with this steely. But then again, doesn't matter. Doesn't mean much to me. Doesn't mean much to me. Hoping to put a nice sling on here pretty soon and nice optic soon. And I was thinking about putting a bipod on it, but I don't think I'll do that just because. What purpose does it serve? You know, I'll just get some aiming sticks or something. And it would just make it so it's really hard to shoot in the offhand position. Or, you know, anything like that. That extra weight there would not be, would not be perfect, I'd say. So, uh, that's the Wisconsin Rifleman's first, now I don't want to say tabletop, but first review. Uh, we'll... <laughs> You know, I'll give you a review in a couple months here, see how much I like it. Uh, 
I plan on doing a lot of long distance shooting trying to get better at it because it's never been my strong point. So if you like the video, good. If not, fuck you. Bye.